All right, guys, in today's Skull the Hero Slayer video, I'm going to do something unconventional. I'm going to play as the Balrog here in difficulty 9. But look what happens when his meter runs out. Yep, that's what happens. So, to not make myself too OP and to counter that, I will make it so that I can only do this video and play as him if I switch out to a secondary skull when that happens. So I can't abuse that meter running out and then he just becomes that kind of lava attack, right? Because as you can see, if I now switch back to him, the meter is back at the start. So that's going to be how we're going to play this guy. That's uh, the, the limit I put on to myself. And yeah. I've never played him, so let's see uh, how much fun this guy can be. Um, let's see here. I'm not sure what I'm going to build yet. I think what I do know is that we want to get... Uh, I'll just take arms. What I do know is that we want to get a good secondary skull, right? For now, I'll start with the, with the little bones. It's fine. But we want to get a good secondary skull since there is going to be that downtime when his meter runs out and he becomes a big, you know, shower of lava when I do need to switch out. So, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please already consider leaving a like because I am trying to deal with the YouTube algorithm hating me right now and not pushing my videos onto anyone anymore. Uh, okay, it's very difficult to attack with him because he moves around as he attacks. I feel like I'm going to have to do jumping attacks on platforms like this. That's fine. We're learning as we go. You know, it's fine. It's cool. His dash has range on it, man. Like, that's insane. Right, let's see. Heirloom, heirloom poisoning. Uh... I mean, for now, we'll just take the extra damage, right? But we don't need poisoning. If anything, it would be sick if I could do a more arson-focused build. But we also have to keep in mind that he's a physical skull. But yeah, man, as I was saying, the YouTube algorithm has not been too kind to me in the past week, and I don't really know why. But uh, you guys can help me by subscribing, liking, commenting is very important. Even if you just leave me a comment in like one word saying what you think of this video. That would really help the algorithm and help out my channel. So we can get back on the road to a thousand subs. Alright, let's go. So far, this guy's pretty damn OP. Now, of course, right, of course he's not... Um, he's not meant to be played like this, right? This is not an actual playable skull. Which is why I put that little restriction on myself as well. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give him a, a try. And I thought it would be very interesting for a video. Especially for people who cannot mod the game. Who don't play on PC. This way you can actually see what a Balrog run would look like. I don't know if he can even hit this guy. I'm not going to lie. Okay, with the jump attack. Alright. Yeah, dude is very devastating. Very, very good. I love that attack. It just hits everything. His dash is very brutal. It shoots him across the map, which isn't necessarily a good thing, depending on like what boss you're fighting or in what area you're fighting. So that's probably going to backfire more than one time. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that is annoying. We need a good secondary skill. Alright, let's see. Um... Yeah, I can't say no to that. It, I mean, it's Arms Courage, it's legendary. Permanent attack speed, I'll take it. I will probably take it. Alright, we're not gonna pick up uh, that skull over there. It won't really be, be useful. Heritage Mystery? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. We need better stuff, man. I mean, I could have picked up some, uh, what's it called? some antique but it's cool i don't think we will will be needing antique very much i'm not gonna lie like the ball rock is pretty insane
Yeah, his base damage is already pretty crazy. Alright, there we go. This is, of course, going to get harder as we get, uh, as we get further in. But for now, he's basically the equivalent of a legendary, you know. So. Maybe I should have picked up that skull. I don't know. I feel like it's fine. Let's just get more damage so we can nuke things. I'm not looking for, like, a very specific second skull. Um, there are a few I have in mind that could possibly be really helpful. Like, if it gives shield, for example. But I'm fine with almost anything. I mean, he is gonna solo carry this run. That is kind of the point here. Ah, oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have a... Oh no, never mind. In this game, they don't have, like, down attacks. Uh, I'll pick this up for now. It keeps popping up, and it gives us a little bit increase in attack as well as in uh, movement speed, so it's fine. Alright, switching out. We are not going to abuse that skill. That would kind of be the, the difficulty of this being difficulty 9. It would be the point of it, you know. Yeah, Balrog is insane. I wish this guy was an actual playable skull. Maybe a little bit watered down. You know? Uh, I guess. I guess I'll switch into the monkey. Oh, it's not the monkey. <laughs> it's the Spartacus skull. I always switch those two, those two up to like... They look very similar. The base skull, like just the skull, looks very similar. Uh, I don't need concentration speed. I do need the attack from it, but it's fine. We'll wait for a better item, I guess. No. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna say no. Does he even have... Okay, he has power. Okay. Well, he's not speed, so there was no point in that anyway. Ooh, I low-key want the wheel. Should I get it? Let's get the wheel, man. Let's get it. Because we are going to be switching out. Not, you know, that often, but we are going to be switching out, so it would be nice. Um, I think that's it for now. I don't think we're going to get much else. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. We're doing super well. Yup. Yes, sir. Bro is absolutely nutty. Ow. That's on me. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna save her. He doesn't... He can't get any other skills or a second skill anyway. So there's no point in uh, saving that NPC. Right. Let's go up. His normal attacks are, are insane. Gold bars. Why am I getting gold bars? Oh, okay. I have spoils at two. Yep, he was about to do it, so we can't abuse that skill. There we go. Damage is looking really good. There's one guy left. Alright, there we go. Thought it was an assassin, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't need any of these. We're not going to take it. Although I would love to try to do like a run with the scythe. Okay, okay. Let's see the damage on the tree. This should be good. This should be really good. Let's immediately pop the skill. Alright. Can't complain. I am gonna hit him with the when the meter runs out. Um, yeah, that does insane damage. That does insane damage. Uh, okay, my dodges there were on point. 
Nice. Okay, I took a little hit there from something. We are absolutely killing it. Mm, mana cycle isn't bad, but you know. Reach nearby enemy, but this is not gonna help us in boss fights, which is why I usually don't take it. I'll take the battle, the battle totem. That way we have a little bit of a defensive option. Um, no, stood duration, no. Uh, I don't know, do I take collection? How many do I have? Oh yeah, I have five right now. Yeah, I guess it's not a bad idea, let's do it. And then... The normal attacks is fine by me, although I want to take this. So we can kill them a little bit faster. So I think our skill damage and normal damage is more than enough. Okay, well we did take some damage, but... It's all under control. It's it's difficult to to control him in a way because his dash reaches so far. Still way easier to control than the ninja. Uh, max HP up, yes, please. Wait, should I buy an inscription? Let's see. Good cat. No, I think it's too early to say. That's not bad, but we only have one skill. This would increase my attack speed, which is nice. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take that one for now. Might switch it out later. Probably not, though. We'll see. I'm not gonna lie. I think the build really doesn't matter that much. Like, this guy is, is not meant to be playable like this. And there's a good reason for that, you know? I don't think the build is really gonna matter. Uh, this is really good, I can't lie. We will take a lot more damage, though. Um, tough decision, but I think I'll bring it with me for now. And if I notice I'll take too much damage, I will switch it out for something else. Ow. Oh, the sickle again. I killed him just in time. He was about to do massive damage. Yeah, Balrog is just walking through them. Oops. Alright, let's see how fast this goes. I should switch out here. You know, get ready. Get ready for the next battle. Alright, I mean, the damage isn't bad. The skill obviously won't do much, so let me just use my jump attacks. Yep, there we go. What more can there be said? Regain some health. I don't think they'll drop an item. We don't need items anyway. I low-key want to switch to Dark Paladin just for the shield, but no. Alright, let's get even more into damage. So far, our health is looking very good, so we don't need to invest in that. Cooldown reduction doesn't matter that much, as cooldown is already very fast. For obvious reason. Yep. Did 
that guy took a lot of hits. I'll give him that. Oh. Yeah, we might want to switch the item out, the omen one. Because we are taking good damage now. Can't believe this guy didn't take damage from the skill. Dark Pally again. Interesting. I'll buy some health. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's good. This one, I don't know. I do want more arms, but I don't know. I'll take it. I'll take it instead of this one. Because I just don't want to take that extra damage. Arms? No, I think it's... Uh... Oh yeah, it is arms. Okay. There we go. Now we have four in arms. If we can get it up to six, that would be nice. But it's not necessary. Oh. I should have switched sooner. My other dude is only common. After all. Oops. I will never get used to how the range on his on his dash is. This is good, especially because he is power. But I don't know what I would switch it for. Maybe this one. Wait, what does this give rapidity? Okay. Yeah, I'll get rid of this one, it's fine. Oh. Dude, he's insane. I wouldn't even call the the dash a drawback, it's just it's hard to control. Nice, nice. Alright, she avoided my, my skill. Still died super quickly. The fact that he makes the whole screen shake as well. Okay, this is gonna be good. What will the damage be like? Come on, come on. Alright, you guys had your shot. I think I missed my skill. That's not smart. Oh man, the fact that we could just kill her with uh... We're like doing his, his move when the meter runs out. The fact that we could just end it with that is crazy. Like, I'm not going to, it would be too overpowered, but I could do it. I might do it, like, if we make it to uh, to the Emperor, to Alexander, I might do it. Just to see, you know, just to see. I mean, at that point, if we make it to Alexander, we will have already beaten the run anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot, he moves forward when you when you attack with him. Yup, look at that damage. It's insane. <laughs> I was about to say, didn't she hit like 10% health? It seems like these bosses... They can, they can hang on pretty well against them. I think he's amazing for clearing rooms, but less good for boss fights. Uh, I do want to get rid of this, but I need a different courage item then. Or... 
because I have courage at two, right? Yeah, so I could buy the courage inscription if I want. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll take the ring instead, and we'll just buy courage inscription. Damage dealt to enemies with higher HP is amplified. Yeah, no. Um, let's grab the the normal attack damage, and I'll even up it because I want to leave that last slot in case we need a a revive. All right, I should get him upgraded a bit unless I switch. Yeah, I'll probably switch. The wheel is booked, that's interesting. Yeah, let's go look for, for a different skull. So we can switch into that one. It's better than investing all those bones into upgrading this one. Oh damn, what is this? That's a beefy boy. Oh, that's gonna explode. Great. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. Hopefully we get a good physical skull. And then we can just play with that one. Okay, didn't know that thing had a skill like that. That's dangerous. Alright, this one should give me some help. Oh, I got interrupted by Frieza. Great. Yo, they literally remade Frieza. Even as the finger attack thing. Forgive me for not knowing its name. Come on, give me good healing, please. 50%, nice. Die, you scum. Okay, see, this is a waste of time when, when you have to wait around for those explosions. So annoying. Okay, we can't use that one. Here we're getting courage, get that damage back up. There we go. One more in arms, and we would have that six. But that begs the question, what do I trade in for it? Masterpiece. Masterpiece is not bad, but still. Okay, no arms. Uh, nope. This one, but I really don't like it. Ah oh man, I'm not getting a second skull. I really need one. Alright, let me just put down my totem just to be sure. Nice. Gold acquisition, 50%. No. No way, Jose. One enemy left. Who is it? Oh. Come on, game. Just give me a skull. A good secondary skull. They just keep giving me magic skulls. Can't you see I'm doing a physical run? Please? Putting down my totem. 
so that if we take damage, at least it's not that much. Did I just inflict poison? I, oh yeah, I guess I still have that thing. Four enemies up there, why? When did those guys... Did they spawn there? Because there's no way they survived. That was weird. No healing. Please no ninja. Oh no, the ninja's here. It's not looking too good if the ninja's here, I'm not gonna lie. It's not looking too good. Wait, where am I? I can't see my skull right now. I don't know what was happening. Okay, trying to focus on these two obviously first, because the ninja is annoying regardless. There's no point in trying to focus him first. Yeah, I knew he was going to succeed in that. Oh, got you there, didn't I? Nice. Uh, I got him, I got him, yep. He put up a good fight, but still. He was not equipped for it. Back to full health is good. They actually gave healing. Um, no. I'm gonna take the bones. Don't know at, the, at this point if I should just upgrade him. I don't want to, like that's the thing. I just want to find a different secondary skull. That's the only thing we're not really getting uh, getting lucky with in this run. Is finding a good skull. Oh, this is gonna take a while to kill this thing. I hate the slime so much. Die! Look at him! Literally make me gonna run into that trap for nothing. So much gold. Too much to pick up. Wait, who's this? Oh, it's Frieza. I was like, huh? It's a beefy enemy. They're not summoning anything while I'm alive. Nothing, dude. The thing they summon is way too much. Oh, are you kidding me? How many... How many magic skulls in a row was that? Like, I'm not getting a single physical skull. Oh, okay, I was like, where's that one more enemy? It's of course a freaking ghost. Bone mana cycle. Nope, nope, nope. I'll eat this just because we have enough gold. Another magic skull, by the way. How much is that? Six in a row? The game just doesn't want to give me... It just doesn't want to give me the skull I need. Alright, let's see. This is not bad, but he only has one skill. If he had two skills, that would be way better. Um, don't have concentration speed. I kind of want to grab this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's replace this one. So it's the same thing. Arms, rapidity. And here we go. Arms, rapidity. This one will be way better once it does, once it is evolved. So 
It's not, I, I mean, we're kind of far-ish into the game right now, but I mean, we are at the midpoint, right? Let's be honest, but uh, it's a little late in a way to get that item because now we need to get it all the way evolved and everything, but it's fine. I don't know why I jumped into the rocket, by the way. There's, uh, there's something wrong with my brain. Was supposed to jump away from it. Okay. Doing good. But we took too much damage here. Because I still don't have a secondary skull. Right, yeah, there's just too many explosions in this area, that's the thing. I always say that about about this area. There's just too many explosions. You can only avoid taking explosion damage for that long, you know? It happens. Uh, yeah, I love it when my skull doesn't double jump. Look at that. It's so annoying. I just took so much damage there, and for what? Alright, I think at this rate, we are gonna have to buy the second revive. I might lose one here, so we'll see. I hope not. But he doesn't, he doesn't exactly shine against bosses is what I'm seeing so far. It's very good at room clearing, but when it comes to bosses... Mm. It's like the damage is there, but it's not, you know, it's not some of the best damage you've ever seen. The jump attack though, it's really nice. Alright, nice, there we go. We didn't lose the revive, that's a good start. Um, I really do want the mana cycle. I don't know, should I... I kind of want to switch it out. Unleash powers would be really nice. But, yeah, no, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. I think, I think it's the right decision. It's also a legendary, so it would be a little silly of me to let it just roll down here, you know. I'll take it. Okay, let's see. Do I take... Not that one. Not that one. Do I take Bex HP, or do I take... Less Resistance? Because Less Resistance would be nice. We do need to revive, I think. But max HP can go up to 30%, which is a lot. Uh, yeah, I'll take the revive just to be safe. Maybe we could switch one of the others out, actually. How is my collection looking? It's still at 5, so I'm not going to switch that one. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think we just have to commit and find a good second skull to help us. I will get all the HP I can get from this. The revive is a nice fail save, but it's not... You know, it's not like the 30% HP, unfortunately. Oh no. Yeah, we're in a rough area now. These guys don't play around. 
Actually, there isn't a single enemy type in this place that you can go easy on. There's not a single enemy type here that plays nice. Okay, these guys have weird lightning attacks. Great, I have to face the worst of them all while I had to switch out. <laughs> okay, wait, can we... Okay, the wall is gone, that's good. Nice. Took a lot of damage, but still. There's always one enemy, dude. No, I overshot it. I think that's a problem we're gonna see a lot on this map. His, uh, his dash just goes so far. Which is really not good on this map, because you can easily fall off. Okay, let's get my gold, and then... Hopefully, finally, a physical skull. Now at this point, I've given up the hope of it. I don't think it's gonna happen. But it might. You never know. Him launching enemies thanks to the, the axe I bought, or picked up I should say, is a little much. Because he, he launches them away from me, and then I can't reach them anymore, and it's like, okay, nice, but how can I kill them? Okay, ninja, I'm definitely settling for ninja, it's fine. Don't think I'll be, uh, don't think I'll be upgrading him to legendary. But we're gonna play him. You can't say that dodge wasn't clean. Okay, I don't know how these guys survived all of that, but okay. Cool. Nice. We're hanging in there. This is also a nice one. But I think I'm fine. I, I could use one more in arms, but you know. I don't know what to get rid of. Because I do want to get rid of this, but I don't know. Yeah, I probably should. If we find another arms, I should probably get rid of that item. Yeah, these guys are super annoying. hate dealing with them. I just realized it's going to be so hard to fight. To fight the freaking boss of this area with him. Because he's so, um, you know, he can't stand still. And that's what you want against this boss. You want to stand still and do your freaking uh, attacks while he's casting his magic ball thing. I might lose my revive here. These guys are not playing. Oh yeah, I do have the 30% the chance that my skill just resets. Haven't been paying attention to that. Alright, one more arms. Let's see it. I don't like that one, because we're not doing critical hits. Yeah, I'm not going to pick that up, it's fine. You just got to keep looking. Just one more arms. The damage has fallen off. 
like early game he was super super good the damage is definitely falling off now which I called it you know it's to be expected because the thing is early game like the first area your skull and like the rarity of your skull is kind of what carries but then later on the thing that carries is your build <laughs> no way I just did that okay nice look he's so good at clearing rooms that's the thing that's the sad thing about him is that he's so good at clearing rooms but when it comes to bosses he's just not doing well I mean he's still doing well but when I say not doing well I mean he's not he's not on the level of samurai or reaper or something I don't think I was hit by this stuff, but we'll just cleanse, it's fine. Damn, three legendaries, that's interesting. Um, and a very good omen as well, but we're not gonna pick that up. We're already low on health. This is probably gonna kill me. Oh, and it's ninja, okay, great. Yeah, we're definitely dead. If it was anyone but him, I might have had a, a fighting chance. But the fact that it's him is just it's just awesome. Great. There we go, that's our revive. Oh wow, are we actually gonna die? Are we actually gonna die? I mean, he's already taken two of my revives. You know what? Take this. It's ridiculous. Even when I'm like this, I can't hit him. Because it's a ninja, and he always does ridiculous transportation stuff. See? I can't even hit him when I'm doing this. It's insane. Like, what's his problem? Like, I'm not even kidding. That was insane. He needs a nerf. And I mean the thief, the ninja, whatever you want to call him. He needs a nerf. Not this skull. Bro, it's just compared to other, um, you know, let's be honest about it. Compared to other adventurers, the thief is just way too annoying. Bro, just took two of my revives like it was nothing. It was a regular Tuesday for him. Oh, not this type of room. You're kidding me. Wonder if I can actually destroy it just by attacking like that, but I don't think so. It would be kind of lit. Aha, suffer. Okay. Oh, I thought I already destroyed this one. Guess not. We're hanging on with like 57 HP. Beautiful. Oh, hell no. I'm not doing that. Never mind. I am doing that apparently. I 
I really need them to drop more health, I'm not gonna lie. No, I've had better days. I think it was a good little test overrun. I think I should um, bring this guy back sometime and try him again. Try a more, like a different approach. Maybe with have a different type of build, different dark abilities, you know. Make him really work. I think this was a good test. But also, we can't forget, this is difficulty 9. Like, if this was difficulty 3 or, or even like 5, he would be chilling. He would be going through all of this without any issue. But this is difficulty 9 we're talking about. So considering... He's doing very, very well. There's only a handful of skulls I know that can handle difficulty 9. Unless you're, you know, very, very good at the game. Like Beals, for example. That's that's a whole different thing. What's this? That's interesting. Transform into a bull. I've never used that item. Okay, let's see what we can get from this. Max health, I'll take it. Yeet. These rooms, man, don't If you're uh, if you're developing a game, don't be like this, alright? Don't make rooms like this where you're locked out of destroying those things that create shields. Don't be like that. I want a different skill on Ninja. This one is lame. Never liked it. I did that to myself. Damn it, he still got me. Yeah, I couldn't dash there because if I did, I would have just fallen and died. <gasps> I almost killed myself there. Ah, uh, you're dead, buddy. You're dead. I know I'm, a, I'm about to die soon. But this ain't it. If I die, it's gonna be against the boss. I refuse to die to you peasants. Alright, this is gonna be the end of the road for me. I don't see how we could possibly get out of this. Especially because this skull keeps moving around when he attacks. If I could stand still, then maybe I could make it. Probably not. 65 HP is really not a lot. Yeah, I think he had a good run, considering this is difficulty 9 and my first time playing with this guy. I think he had a good run. We should come back and uh, try a different build with him, a different approach. So the damage is there. But he just seems 
he seems good at room clearing, but he just doesn't seem that good for bosses. And that's kind of how he's developed to be. See, if we just keep doing this, we, we're winning. Like, it's a scummy approach, but look at this. That's like the only way I can win this. Nope. <laughs> Alright, that was a good run though, it was fun to use him. Uh, yeah, leave a like to help me out with the horrible algorithm doing me dirty. And uh, subscribe, it's free, so why not? See you in the next one. Peace.